And turn around and hello. Look, Kaede, if you hear anything, it's a lie. I did not spend the night with Kokichi. I did not. You are not to believe what anyone says. He is a liar. He is a liar and you will remember that. Nothing happened between me and him. Uh, I think this whole reality dating show is throwing me off. But of course, I definitely prefer this over killing each other. Of course you do. To be fair, who wouldn't? Cool determination, I spent time with Kaede. You, li you like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just thinking about getting one of these. I can't believe you already know what I like, even though we just met. Well, that's a detective for you. Hey, hey Suichi. Ah, oh, what? You're scared we're getting that close. Sorry. Come on, at this point you should be used to women getting close to you. Like, I know, I know that was your thing at the start of the game. The fact that, like, even, like, the fact that she even wanted to speak to you made you blush. But, like, you should be used to it by now, man. Come on. Oops, sorry, I just got super excited. What is it? Yeah. Let's play a piano duet together. Um, um, a piano duet? All right, you don't know yet. A duet is when two people play on the same piano. Huh? You can do that? Of course. Of course. Since a piano has 88 keys. Now that she mentions it, I suppose pianos are pretty wide. No. I want you to, I want you to know more about the piano. And that's why a duet with you would be perfect. Wait. Wait a minute. What's the matter? What's wrong? Is there a problem? Hey. It's just it would be such an honor to perform with you. I don't know. Please. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just normal high school. Yeah, you're not. Well, I mean, technically you are in the long run, but you're not now. Uh, I've never played the piano before. Right. Everyone's like that at the beginning. You just gotta try new things anyway. I soon found myself in Kylie's lab, in front of her piano. All right. Okay, let's start practicing. Sit in front of the piano, Suichi. Okay. okay. You know? Now, put your fingers on those keys. Mm. Like this. Uh. Oh, uh, don't place your fingers flat. Keep your fingers light and don't press the keys too hard. Uh, um, uh like this. Um, Bend them a little more. Pretend you have an egg in your hand. Hey. I'm gonna touch your hands, okay? So this is, this is this is the biggest ship. Makoto and Kyoko can fuck off, even after the anime made it better. Chiaki and uh, Hajime, that's that's all right, but this is better. This is the best pro tag ship. I don't care. I'll fight you if you say otherwise. So you know how to play piano in correct form. She's so close, touching me, soft, warm. What am I thinking about? I hope she hasn't noticed. Yeah, that's right. Okay, just like that. Make sure only your fingertips touch the keys. Huh? That's ah, Soichi. You don't look very focused. Oh, I'm so tempted. Oh my god, I'm so tempted. Oh, I'm so tempted. Mm. Should I? Uh, the temptation is real, like amazingly real right now. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any negative reactions, so it could just be, you know, you know, like just funsies. It's between these two. It's really between these two. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I don't. Oh my god. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to result to the age. The age old. Technique of ip dip dog shit fucking basilic get you are uh, not it. Okay, well it's this. Hey, aren't you a little too close? Huh? Ah, my bike. 
If I'm not close to you, I can't guide you. No. Ah, the hands are fine, but uh, your face and other. F oh. <laughs> Woman, your tits are in my face. <laughs> or against his back, one of the two. Or up against his arm, certain. But you're pressing. You're pressing. Uh. Oh my god, I'm super close to you, sorry. Oh, uh, so focused. That's why people call me Piano Freak. Kylie spent time teaching me the basics. Kylie was so close to me the whole time, I had trouble focusing. Because them titties, innit? <laughs> Boy's just like, ah, oh, God, I should be focused on piano, not them titties. Not them sweater mates. Like, boy, I get it. I get it. You're a young boy, but you're a detective. Eyes on the prize. Actually, you know what? No, because your eyes are on the prize. Never mind. Eyes on the piano. Good job. Yeah, you're pretty good, Suichi. I think you can play the basic songs now. Really? 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 A basic song in this? How long was this lesson? An hour? A few hours? You think so? No, I'm not that good. You're just a great teacher, Kaede. No. Oh, the great Kaede Akamatsu is saying you can. So be more confident. Kidding on the great part. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. I feel a bit more confident now. You no know? oh, pianos. Music will play as long as you press the keys. There are a bunch of people who have taught themselves and went a long way. I'll do it. So you'll be fine, Suichi. Since I'll be here to teach you everything. She'll be here. Ah, yeah, look at that blush. Look at that boy blush. Look at that blush boy. I played until Kaede and I was satisfied. I returned to my room. I still have some time, what should I do? Well, we're gonna hang out with peeps, aren't we? We're gonna hang out with the peeps. And sup, peeps! Oh, right. uh, we can't lose them, okay. okay. Uh, I think this whole reality dating show thing is for- okay. You like Greek yogurt? You know? Look at look at this pure look at this pure innocent darling. <laughs> oh. oh god, I said something about it. She's ah oh. this pure and innocent little thing. Okay. Now she came to duet practice. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I ship this so hard, it's not even funny. Despite how much I love Mew and Kurumi, I ship this so hard. So fucking pure and adorable. Here, let's end it here to for today. I feel like I'm just getting a lot better. Yeah. Definitely. I honestly think you have talent to play piano, Suichi. If you practice more, you might become the new autumn pianist. No. That's the thing I've always wondered. Like, in the anime, they refer they refer to like the the students not the students the um future foundation members who were former students of the Academy. They refer to them as former ultimate or former super high school level. So it's like once you graduate, like you stop being you stop being you know super high school level, you become like oh, like I don't know university high school level. But like does that mean that like once you want like does someone take your place? Can they, like once you already like say Mikan. Ultimate nurse. Once she, once she stops being, like, I don't know. Can a new ultimate nurse come along? Is what I'm saying. And can she be the new ultimate, like Suichi, ultimate detective? So then, what about Kyoko? Let's say that this is so far in the future. Kyoko is no longer a factor. Sure, but if 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 Kyoko is some, is still alive in this timeline, how would that work? Can there be replacements? Would the new ultimate be better than the old ultimate, or would they be on par of each other? Because you can't be ultimate if someone's better than you. Yeah, it's like... Like, if you just look at the Japanese version of Super High School Level, makes sense. You're not in high school anymore, therefore a new Super High School Level someone can come in. But then, like... Is it just a translation thing where it just doesn't make sense? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you're right, it's good to practice, but... 
Uh, we should focus on getting out of here together. I want to escape already, so I yeah, uh, so, so I can get to know the other students together. Um, hey, Kaede. Huh? Huh? What is it? Hey. This might sound weird, but what's the matter? What's the matter? You can tell me. Um. Um, but if it's something hard to answer, then that might be a problem. Why? How can you be so optimistic? Huh? huh? Uh, um... You're always talking about cooperating and working together, not giving up. I'm just amazed every time you talk like that. No. Well, no, I suppose it's easy to talk like that. But... But I know that you truly feel that way inside. I suppose I'm just asking you where the fears come from. Kylie looked troubled. Sorry. So I guess this... Yeah, it was weird. No, not at all. I'm not mad or troubled or anything like that. I was just thinking about how I could explain it to you. Since my feelings come from actual experience... Huh? Actual experience? You were in a situation like this before? No. No, not that. There's no way I could have been in this kind of situation in the past. You know? Well, in my experience, music has always reached other people's hearts. Music. That's right. I told you to be first before. I played the piano because I want to see people smile. You know? Everyone's face, everyone's faces light up from my performances. I can smile with strangers who I've just met a minute ago. Even if we don't speak the same language, we are bound anyway for music. I think it's because we can see other people's true personalities through music. What? So I'll be fine. I know we can overcome anything just by creating a bond. Right. Yeah, I suppose that's true, Kaede. You know? I want to see more smiles from people, so I plan to do all sorts of things. Classical music is my main focus, but I want to I want to do a performance with pop music. That's right. Can you do pop music with an old ass piano? Oh yeah, uh, would it be super fun arranging music for famous games or movies? Yeah, it would, probably. I can compose the songs, uh, however I like, and then hold a concert. That would be cool. Kaede. Yeah, right. I, I think that's a wonderful dream, Kaede. I'm sure you can do it. Hey. Really? Do you think so? Okay. Absolutely. And I'd like to come to that concert. Of course. I'll definitely invite you. I'll send you the first ticket. Uh. Oh, hold on. Uh. I just told you my dream. Oh, that's embarrassing. I can't believe you got me to blurt out my secret, Suichi. I wasn't prying or anything. But I'm glad you told me. Ah, oh, yeah! Friendship fun times! After Kaede calmed down a bit, I return to my room. And we get one more? One more? Ah, oh, yeah, one more! And Kaede. All right. It makes sense that this song's called Becoming Friends. I did not mean to do that. Would you like some more Greek yogurt? I got a lot. Some would argue too much. No. Just rocking around in my pocket. <laughs> mm -hmm. You came to practice again, right? I'm glad you're serious about oh, this. Right. Then let's start. Shuichi, I think it's a good place to stop. So let's end it here today. Mm. Yeah, done already? Yeah, well, whenever I see, yeah, whenever we see each other, we play the piano together, right? It feels like I'm forcing you to do this. You're not having fun, are you, Suichi? Huh? No way, I'm having lots of fun. Huh? Really? All oh, right. Okay, then let's do it again. Since I told you my secret, you're gonna have to tell me yours. Huh? What? Well, why? Got it? Because I've decided. <laughs> We're talking about you today. We are. Can't they so pushy uh, today? Um... Well, if you want me to, but what should I talk about? How about your hobbies? Solving cases. Solving cases. Reading books about past cases. Reading up on potential cases. You know, detective stuff. Huh? Uh, you have to think about your hobbies? Uh, um, oh well. I remember helping out the detective business. I suppose being a detective is my hobby. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm I see. Detective work is your hobby. Uh -huh. What? You're taking notes? <laughs> Where did you get that note? Wait, check. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. From my backpack. Oh, I see. I see. 
So your hobby is being a detective, then we should enjoy... <laughs> we should enjoy being that today. Huh? What? Because... I like how my reaction was exactly the same as Suichi's reaction, just what? <laughs> I'm gonna be the detective who will expose your secret. Huh? I thought I was gonna be the detective. Right? Being interrogated might be a good experience. It'll be useful next time you're in action. Uh, uh... Really? Oh, right. <laughs> yep, so now next question. What's your favourite food? Meat, veggies, fish, meat. Gammon. Listen, I am a fan of gammon. If, if you, if you sit, if you sit me on a table with like lamb and gammon, that shit's gonna be gone within like seconds, seconds. But what was the wheat cheap be though? Cause I'm a meat boy. I'm a big meat boy. But fish is okay. Healthy shit is like eh. I know about that. What would a Suichi be? I feel like I feel like fish would be a Suichi answer, but I felt like fish would be a Suichi answer. Cause like like look like I can't take away the thing. I can't take away the uh, the UI. But look at this boy. Like look at this boy. He's not he's not a big ass meat eater. He's not a carnivore. Um, vegetables. I feel like fish would be a Suichi answer. That's fresh fish. Fish, huh? I prefer fish over meat too. We're so okay. 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 Listen here, woman. Listen here, woman. You can't make you can't make me support this ship any harder than I already do. Stop it. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I guess I should have to worry about our compatibility. Oh, okay. God damn. Damn it. Don't make me ship this harder than I already do. What's she muttering about? Next qu Oh, okay. That's what she. That's her game. That's her game. She's fishing the information for her next boyfriend. She's like, okay, how much about this boy? What dirt can I dick up about this boy who I want to date? Can we get along? Oh, this sly ass bitch. What's your favourite place? Now, that's a pretty broad question. I don't know if I can answer that. Alright, um, how about... If you... I, there's two! There's two multiple choices in this one! What? I was... Uh, I was thoroughly unprepared for a second one. So which will probably be okay. We'll talk. So which will probably be wherever they pick. Kaede's response to that, though, that's what we gotta watch out for. I don't... I don't think she'd like that answer. Um... Um... Amusement park, I guess. That's amusement park, I suppose. See. Amusement park, huh? You're pretty outgoing. Uh, I... I get that a lot, but the being a detective is mostly about gathering information, so... Mm hmm, mm -hmm I see. She's taking notes again. <laughs> um. I love this. What are, these, what are you going to use your notes for? Um. That's... Mm. Yes? You know? A secret. Huh? Uh, what? Don't worry. It won't be used for anything bad. I won't show these notes to anyone else. Right. Detective Kaede Akamatsu is just getting started. Tell me everything you know, punk. <laughs> I love this. I honest to god love this. I love this, these two's um, dynamic. It's great. I ship it so hard it's not even funny. The fact that she's taking notes for like perspective, like potential boyfriend questioning is amazing. Now allow me to save, just in case I get Kokichi again. I doubt it because you know there's 1 in 14 chance of me getting the same. Actually it's a 1 in 15 chance, I don't know why I eliminated. 
There's a 1 in 15 chance of me getting the same. So we're just going to save. And then we back out. Okay, okay, this will be interesting. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. But do robots, that's, do robots dream of electric sheep? Um. <laughs> that's which I've able to ask of you. It's embarrassing, but you're the only one I can turn uh, to. Um, ah, well, what kind of favour? Well, Shuichi. well, you form a romantic... That's very, very upfront. Then again, he doesn't know better. He doesn't understand, so I guess. But all right, then will you form a romantic pair bond with me? A romantic pair bond? I expect there's some. I expect that some people would have this kind of fantasy, but not Kibo. But something's not quite right. He didn't ask for a. Con he didn't ask for a confession or a date, but a pair bond. Strange. I... As you can see, I'm a robot. And I'm not ashamed of that, but I have yet to experience the feeling of love. Even human children have felt love before. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, so are you saying you want to experience the emotion yes. with me? Humans often say that love is the most precious, wonderful feeling in the world. I too wish to experience what love is. I want to know what love is. <laughs> just, just play that and you'll know. Will you please help me? Ah, uh, um, uh, so would you like me to act as your lover, Kibo? I suppose I could Listen do that. Closely. Of course. Uh, if we're going to do this, I will need you to take it seriously. Huh? What's the matter? Are you surprised? Simply going through the motions would be dishonest. Uh, we must love each other unconditionally. And we must understand each... So, since you're, you know, one, a robot, and two, trying to understand the, fit, the emotion of love, do you technically not have a sexuality then? Because, like, you're clearly, you're clearly jealous when Mew is, was enjoying that computer. And you've come to Suichi, and you're like, hey, even though you're a dude. But then again, this is your ideal fantasy thing. But it's like, do you technically not have to rely on, you know, the gender of the other person? Like with Kokichi, Kokichi could be bi, I don't, it, it, he could be, it doesn't matter. But, again, it's also a possibility of the ideal thing. But, like, with you, would you actually, like, it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't even be bi, you'd be pan. Because you wouldn't care about gender, you'd just have the, the bond. Is that your thing? I don't know. I must go on dates, grow even closer, and then we must commit our lives to each Wait. other. Hey, hold on a what minute. Oh, did I speak out of turn? Hmm. No, it's not that. It's just, don't you think it's a bit long term for a favour? But, but that's, <laughs> that's not wrong of me, is it? Or do you believe there's an easy way to feel love for that's another one? Or for another? Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. Of course. Then please take me. In sickness and health, so that I may truly know what love is. <laughs> Alright, he's going too fast. I have to get him to ease up a little. But, but Kibo, do you really like me that much? I don't want a relationship based on lies. Oh, well now, now I feel rather awkward. I... I didn't want to hear you say that. I don't, I don't actually love you. Hmm. Kibo, no. I apologise if I gave the impression that I wanted a dishonest relationship. I just thought that you were the only person I could ask this sort of favour. I couldn't have asked this of anyone else, I just wanted you to know that. Sorry. Is that true, Keeper? I am so sorry. Uh, I should have never doubted your feelings. No, no I don't blame you for feeling sceptical. My approach was wholly lacking in tact. It's obvious now that my overzealous for, rom for romance has earned your hey. scorn. Hey now, I didn't say no. Really? really? Okay. I didn't have a plan. Well, I don't have a plan for the future, but I know I want to help you, Kibo. I think I might already be in love with you. Huh? What? I'm glad that these are voiced, both the persons and Suichis. I think my feelings for you are increasing at an exponential rate. Please say more kind words to me. I don't want these feelings to go away. Uh, neither do I. It's just. I get embarrassed saying things like that. Then, may I... Uh, hold your hand? Fucking lewd. Fucking disgusting degenerate. How 
dare you! This is a Christian game! My hand? I may not have much experience of love, but I know I can't turn him down. Well, if it's just that, okay. I reached out my hand, and Kibo reached out his. The robotic hand didn't quiver. Hey! Uh, Kibo, this is a handshake. Huh? Oh, that's right. Lovers hold hands in a different fashion. But... But I'm quite nervous. Would it be alright if we stayed like this a bit longer? Oh, my heart is at peace right now. You have a heart? Yeah. Yeah, of course we can. These hands that I shook <laughs> should have felt cold, but somehow it felt so warm. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, lovers of Kibo. The good shit. The good robo bromance. That's what we want. I call that robo romance. A robo romance is what I like to call a robo romance. What is one already? Last night with Kibo. Was that a dream? My hand still feels warm. A oh, year, hundred coins. And Kayade. That's not. Do you feel like playing piano? I feel like asking about that goddamn oh, notebook, girl. If that's the case, then I'll teach you. Oh, you don't need to feel bad or anything, okay? When I teach, I notice my own bad habits on the piano. I still have a lot to learn. How does the ultimate pianist have a bad habit on the piano? Candy did her best to teach me piano. You want some more yogurt? You want some more yogurt? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of getting one of these. I can't believe you already know what I like, even though we just met. Yeah, that's a detective for you. All right. Okay, so it's your time to get super pumped for practice. Okay. Yes, let's do it. Oh, don't play this song. Oh, don't play this song. Ah, oh, don't do this. I'm going to forever associate this song with her death, and that's upsetting! A piano duet. Two people playing the piano together. When I was first learning, I didn't quite get it, but now it feels nice. I played the low notes while Kylie played the high. Together we played the melody. Of course, my playing didn't compare, but Kylie carried me. Perhaps it was, yeah, perhaps that's what gave it, yeah, gave it a magical sense of unity. At first I was so focused on Kylie sitting next to me that I couldn't focus. But as we kept playing, and it, it got easier, it felt perfectly natural. Just that's like Kylie and I have become one. Hey, now listen, listen. Leave that. Save that for the hotel. <sighs> After we finished playing, we remained sitting beside each other, basking in it. Shuichi. You're amazing, Shuichi. I can't believe you improved this much in such a little time. No. Yeah, two days. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, that's not quite what I wanted to say. That's I had a great teacher who showed me the beauty of playing the piano. Hey. The beauty of playing the piano? What do you mean? Hey. It's so, yeah, it's so fun to play. I understand why you get entranced by it. <laughs> right? Even though it's just us here right now. Someone might hear and it'll make them smile. It didn't, it didn't make me smile. It made me sad. It made me sad because of the association with the song. Oh, that's what, you know, yeah, that's when you know it's worth it. I was unable to have this experience because I met you, Kaede. I know, I know that it's a bit of an abnormal situation, but I'm I'm still so glad I met you. I had a great teacher who showed me how to the, the beautiful playing piano. So it's you. I can't believe you said something so embarrassing. Huh? huh? What? Um, but I'm glad I met you too. When I was teaching you, I was reminded of how great pianos are. I started to realize myself what I can do on the piano. Okay. Yeah. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. When we get out of here. Come over to my house. Oh, yeah! Huh? Huh? You mean it? Your house? Yeah. Of course. Where else? It be? Well, it's just that, I mean, going to your house is... Uh. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I didn't mean like that. Right? I want to ask before my duet practice on... On my favourite... Okay. I don't know why, but I thought I read that wrong. But no, yeah, that's right. I want, to, uh, I want, to, I want us to perform my duet practice on my favourite piano. So you can hear it. Okay. Ah, that's what you meant. I'm sorry I misunderstood. But I just want to talk to you, watch TV with you, hug you, 
Kiss you, fuck you, you know, the standard relationship things. You know? You know how I said I want to become closer to you when we get out of here? Um. And if it's you, I feel like we can get to know each other a lot more. Does that mean? Um. That's why. Okay. That's why. Jeez, uh, geez, just be a man and say yes already. Uh. Oh, sorry, yes, yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, I shit this so hard, it's not even funny. It's upsetting. <laughs> It's upsetting how hard I shipped this. It's upsetting that the only ship that stays, that stays canon and alive and well is Makoto and Kyoko. It's upsetting. <laughs> We're just not there yet. With our duet, our friendship, everything. Which is why we're going to escape. So we can hopefully grow together. Ah, <sighs> it's upsetting. It's upsetting that this doesn't see it through to the end. You're right. I can't understand what Cardi was trying to say. I think that's yeah, I think that's because we have such a strong bond between us. And when we get out of here, I want to take this even further. Ah, ah, it's upsetting. I'm upset now. I'm upset now. As Cardi and I spent the rest of the day talking about what we do after we escape. Oh yeah, I'm upset now. This game has upset me. Okay, now who do I hang out with now? Make it easier to push the opponent back during the fight. Oh! I mean, that's... I mean, it's alright, I guess. It's not astounding. Uh, Angie... Samugi, Tenko, Kimiko, Never You, Gokichi, Gonta, and Taro. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think we're gonna hang out with our boy. I think we're gonna hang out with our boy. Where's our boy? Where's our boy sin? Where's he situated? Where's our boy situated? Never You. Where's our boy situated? Hang on, there's three. Oh, you're there. Oh, okay. Fucking blend, fucking blended into the background, madam. Okay. What's up, boy? What's the matter? What's the long face? Want to talk about something? Yeah, I want to talk about how we might fucking die. How you are going to die? Don't worry about it. Our psychic woes are mine. My woe. <laughs> See now, in this, we never became psychics. Talk to me about anything, man. Don't keep any secrets from me. I think I'll go closer today. Definitely. Definitely. What the fuck would he like? Do you like beer? Do you like non non alcoholic drink of immortal I've actually never seen. What? A non alcoholic drink based on a legendary alcoholic beverage said to make the drink immortal. It neither guards own immortality nor does it taste good. That's a reference, I know that. I think I can know that reference. I feel like I know that reference. I could be incorrect though. I could be incorrect, but I think I know that reference. You like titties? You like titties? Oh nice, this gives a real bullseye. Your force hit me dead center. Alright, since you gave this to me, I'll teach you about this thing. Leave what thing? What thing? You got something you want to tell me? Don't hold back, I'll listen. You're pretty enthusiastic about this. Ah, yeah. oh, well, you're a national trainee, right? Ki Ki Kibo? No, Kaito. <laughs> uh, sure am. I'm still a trainee, but I'm gonna be accepted for sure. But how are you the ultimate astronaut? If you have, if like, how? Trying to be an astronaut must be hard. Can you really handle it? No problem. My training's a piece of cake. Kaito was grinning at me, but then his expression turned serious. No. Well, to be honest, it's it's about us, about as intense as as intense it can get. But the universe is harsh. You gotta be able to handle any situation. Any situation. The first two years of well, is basic training. And it's pretty straightforward. You learn the skills to be the astronaut. 
medicine, astronaut, astronaut joint engineering, scuba diving, logistics, survival training. Pretty much just got to master everything. Survival training? You have to do that too? Yeah, for emergencies where I gotta make an unexpected return from space. Yeah, that's right, I suppose you risk your life to be an astronaut. And that reminds me, I remember watching something on the news. There's a training facility for astronauts at the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah. That's right, it's pretty famous. It's a little different from basic training though. Alright, pop quiz. What's the most important thing an astronaut needs? Uh, um, uh, number one or number two? Number one or number two? Uh, I don't know. A healthy body, I guess. That's true. Ah. Yeah, it's true. Bring up a good point. But you know. But there's something more important than that. And that thing is. Listen up. Communicate. Oh, okay, so neat. None of those. None of those are correct. You lied to me, sir. How dare you? The universe is a frontier. The people, the world, uh, change together. And since we need to work together, communication is vital. You're right. That does sound quite important. Right, they checked that in the recruitment exam. That's why you need language training. It makes up a fourth of basic training. Of course, I can speak Japanese, English and Russian. Okay. I didn't just learn the languages, I learned. I had to learn the culture too. The culture, huh? I never thought I'd hear that from Kai. Yeah, he's not really a man of culture. He's not a cultured individual. Oh wait, now that I think about it. He can speak multiple languages, is well learned, and and has what it takes to be an astronaut. I've been underestimating Kai. I've been underestimating him. Kai was incredible. Damn, Damn it, I want to get back to training. The universe is going to get away from me. The world needs this luminaire of the stars to shine even brighter. I don't have the heart to tell him. That's, I'm not so sure about that. Okay. Can't I spend a well, I'll separate so I take my room. And back to Kite, here we go. Back to Kite we go. Kite man. Kite boy. Shuichi. I'm not doing this all in 10 days. I'm not doing this all in 10 days. Got it. A sidekick wouldn't pick anyone besides the hero. That's just crazy. No. Uh, well now, now that I'm thinking about it, sidekicks... Okay, well, just trail, trail off from your fort. Would you, would you like bubblegum, sir? Would you be a fan of bubblegum? I don't know. I don't know. Would you like quick yogurt? Maybe? Ah, he's out with it, okay. Are you giving this to me? Uh, you know me so well. Alright, as thanks for this cool gift, I'll tell you a cool story. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna tell you about me. <laughs> you egotistical fuck. Huh? It's a cool story about me. Hey, so. You wanna know, right? Why I feel so strongly about the universe? Ah. <laughs> Good, I thought so. I haven't even answered yet. Fair warning. This might be. This will be a long story. So not only are you gonna force me to listen, it's a long story. When I was a kid, I'd go to my gramps' place to play sometimes. He had a pretty big warehouse. I had run through it and looked for treasure. One day while I was looking around in the warehouse, well, around, uh, around the warehouse, I found a map. A map of what? Hold on, one thing at a time. It was a map of hidden treasures of the sea. A treasure map. I thought it was supposed to be a story about outer space. Right. After I found the map, I made a decision and set out. I went to the nearest pawn shop 
and sold the map for some cat. You asshole! Huh? You sold it? Of course. <laughs> There's no way I, Kaito Momoto, eliminate the stars. Never follow a map to adventure. A life free from maps. Finding my own adventures. That's the life. Hmm. This asshole, though. But you know. But this sea still called me. So I bought a boat. How did you buy a boat? I went on the voyage. I can't tell if he's demented or just really blunt. I mean... Soon after becoming a captain, I met my destined rival. Your rival? Yeah. The boss of the great pirates. So what happened to outer space? No. We clashed on the field of battle many times, to the point where we became friends. During our final battle, to see who could conquer the seas, I could, I could have won, but I'm not the kind of guy that would be satisfied with just the Listen sea. Up. No, I'm the kind of guy that's satisfied. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kind of that's, yeah, I'm not the kind of guy to be satisfied with just the world, and that's why I couldn't finish him off with the final punch. He got mad at me for holding back. We haven't met since that day. <laughs> Even the benefit of the doubt. This so so this story sounds, sounds uh, this story sounds a little suspect. I feel like the bottom one is like the correct. It's like the yeah, I just I'll just I'll just listen. I'll just listen. I don't know. Fuck it. I backtrack on my answers all the time. You'd be a writer, Kaito. A writer, huh? I guess I could write up my autobiography about the universe. Uh, it'd become a must-have book for a guy trying to become astronauts. Not exactly what I meant. You know. Well, I guess it's taking a while. All right, I'll continue this next time. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I suppose the story has a part two. All right. I didn't save, shit. I didn't save. Okay, please don't be a repeat. Please don't be a repeat. Hey, buddy, I've only been with dudes. <laughs> I've only been with dudes. What are you trying to tell me, game? Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal. I come sort of shared fantasy. I wonder what kind of ideal Ryoma is picturing. Probably on a tennis court. He seems embarrassed. Hey. Seriously, I've warned you before not to chase after me. What do you mean, chase after you? Get it? You're nothing more than a former tennis player, or we're nothing more than a former tennis player, and a manager now. We're just strangers. Manager, I, I must be someone that Ryoma knew when he was playing tennis. So in Ryoma's fantasy, I'll chase after him. It's still part of his dream. I can't ruin that for him. Uh, we've got no reason to see each other. If you get it, then hurry and leave. Hey. Do I need a reason to see you? It's not like it's dangerous to see each other. Yeah. Well, probably not anymore. The mafia I got tangled up with is long gone. But I don't have a future anymore. You've got nothing to gain from being huh? with me. I'm not only seeing you because I've so I want. Well, yeah. I'm not only seeing you because I get something out of it, Ryoma. <laughs> Managers should listen to their players, you know. I'm saying I don't want to see you. Don't follow me. It's irritating. Why? How can you say that to me? Why is Ryoma being so stubborn? I'm supposed to be his ideal. Ah, uh, perhaps he doesn't really want me to leave. Ryoma. At least tell me why you don't want to see me anymore. I deserve an answer. Um, not trying to make this hard, just... I, wa I won't believe it until I hear you say it. Um, what is it, Ryoma? Jeez. jeez, I tried to push you away and you just stick to me. What a weird guy. Um, gonna talk about my, my selfish wishes now. You'll probably just think I'm a pain. And then you'll stick around anyway. You're just that side of guy. Well, now is your last chance to walk away. If you're... Yeah, you're just going to regret no. listening. I wouldn't do that to you. Not after coming this far, so please tell me. Then. In that case, I'm going to be honest. I'll be okay as long as you're alive. Huh? What? What do you mean? 
You're always someone who lives in the sun, a place that's beyond my reach now. Uh, someone like you remembering me in the back of your mind, that's all I need. So please, don't worry about me anymore. Go somewhere far away and live happily. You're telling me this. Yeah, you telling me this makes me want to stay by your side even more. I knew it. I knew you'd say something like that. But all this makes yeah, you know, all this makes it seem like I want you to chase after me. Jeez, how perfect. That's... But that's right. That's all right, Ryoma. Just be honest and tell me what you want. On impulse, I took Ryoma's hand in mine. I felt that if I didn't hold if I didn't hold tight, he would run away from Ryoma. me. I don't know what I like. I like how into it so which he gets. I like how into the role he gets. It's amazing. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know I'm happy now. Ryoma's hand gripped mine a little tighter. Uh, they were smaller than mine, and years of tennis had made them hard, but strong. I've still got a ways to go too. I ended up getting you involved with me. It's all right. I won't run away. Ryoma, please don't run away either. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a lame thing now. It might have been a long time coming, but I'm going to at least say it properly. Shuichi, things won't be like before, but will you help me again? Yeah, of course. If there's anything I can do, I'd be more than happy to. Is that so? Then, to make sure you don't regret your decision, I'll do whatever I can for you too. Alright, I'm counting on that. I had done all I could. I held Ryoma's hand, safe and warm. Oh, that was touch. Okay, that was good. That was good. Alright, that was nice. That was nice and touching. That was touching. Alright, okay, Ryoma. It's a shame you die, but you're a good boy. What? Is it Mon already? Last night with Yama, was that a dream? I feel like we discussed something important. Ah, oh, yeah.